How owner Robert Kraft purchased the New England Patriots for $172 million and turned them into a $3.8 billion franchise. Spending $172 million on an average football team and changing it to one of the most valuable teams in the NFL. How Robert Kraft did it all. In today's video, we are going to talk about how Robert Kraft changed the fate of the New England Patriots. But before we start this inspiring story, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like our content and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. So let's get started. Robert Kraft is the American billionaire business personality famous as the owner of the NFL team, the Patriots, but he also runs a successful billion dollar business. He is the chief executive officer of Crafts Group, a holding company having assets in multiple business ventures from paper and packaging, which was Kraft's primary business, to sports, entertainment, and real estate development. Kraft went to Columbia University and later attended Harvard Business School. During his time at Harvard, he started going to Patriot Games, the team that was then called the Boston Patriots. After his graduation, Kraft got a job at a packaging company, the Rand Whitney Group, which was owned by his father-in-law. He gradually made his way up and in almost three years, he got a major stake at the same company. Then he thought to expand his business and stepped into the international paper products in 1972 and later tried and succeeded in other businesses as well. He was always interested in football and was a season ticket holder for almost 23 years before he bought the Patriots. In 1988, he even bought the team stadium in Foxborough. He refused to take $75 million in an offer to move the team because he had another plan. He bought the team for a record $175 million and managed to keep it in Boston. That was a surprising amount because the team never performed well and was considered an average team with fewer than 7 wins per season and never making it to the victory stand at the Super Bowl. But Robert's ownership proved to be the best for the team as it is now worth $3.8 billion, holding the record of becoming the second most valuable team in the NFL. The Patriots were an average team in 2000 with a worth of $464 million, but its value increased over time by a rocking 460% as compared to other teams of the NFL, whose value just increased by 237%. Hence, the team now holds a worth of around $3.8 billion. The story behind this surprising purchase is quite interesting as well. The Patriots' previous owner, Billy Sullivan, owned the Foxborough Stadium, but not the adjacent locations. Robert made a clever move in 1985 and bought 10-year options on the adjacent horse track called Foxborough Raceway. As a result of this purchase, the stadium owner, Billy Sullivan, could no longer hold the non-Patriot events inside the stadium if the races were going on the track. Later, Sullivan's family went into financial crisis, and as a result, the stadium went bankrupt in 1988. Kraft decided to buy it out of bankruptcy and finally succeeded after outbidding all the competitors. The price of $22 million was quite high at the time as the stadium's conditions were not satisfactory and it was considered rather worthless. But it also included the stadium's lease to the team until 2001. So Kraft bought the stadium but could not get his hands on the franchise as he lost the bid to Victor Kiem. Victor and the previous owner of the team, Sullivan, planned to move the team to Jacksonville. But Kraft had the trump card of having the lease and he did not let them break it. After a few years, Victor also went into financial crisis and had no other way but to sell the team. So he sold it to James Orthwein in 1992. After two years, Orthwein offered a huge amount of $75 million to Kraft in return to end the lease at Foxborough Stadium. But Kraft refused. As Orthween did not want to run the team from New England, he decided to sell it. And there, Kraft finally got the team after paying a whopping $172 million to Orthween, a price that was considered the highest price ever paid for an NFL team at the time. From 1985 to 1994, Kraft took one step at a time and eventually managed to get what he wanted. 
Later, in an interview, he said that it was his passion for the Patriots that led him to break every one of my financial rules to buy the team. As per reports, Kraft still has the victory tour poster in his office as a reminder of the struggles he went through in the process of buying the Patriots. The previous owner wanted to move the team to St. Louis and renamed it as Stallions, but Kraft had different plans, so he refused every offer and bought the team against all odds. When he took charge, he said, My objective in buying the Patriots is to help bring a championship to New England. Under his ownership, the Patriots started their journey toward victory and succeeded in winning six Super Bowls since 2001. The Patriots had their first victory when they made it to the Super Bowl under the head coach Bill Parcell in 1996, just two years after Kraft's ownership. In 1998, Kraft wanted to move the team to Hartford, Connecticut, but the deal failed due to some reasons. On January 27, 2000, Kraft bought Bill Belichick's rights from the New York Jets and hired him as the head coach for the Patriots. Many people criticized this move, but he knew what he was doing and his decision was proven successful as the team won their first ever Super Bowl in the following year after defeating St. Louis Rams. Later, Bill led the team to win six Super Bowl tournaments, 16 division titles, and nine conference titles. In 2002, Robert Kraft decided to build a stadium for the team at the expense of around $350 million. The stadium that was initially called the CMGI Field was later named Gillette Stadium. So the team had the stadium, but Robert wanted to take it to the next level. In 2007, he started to develop the land surrounding the stadium and built a $375 million open-air shopping and entertainment center, calling it Patriot Place. The development was not just confined to these two buildings. It included a multi-story museum and the Hall of Fame adjacent to the stadium. And last but not least, a CBS-themed restaurant called CBS Scene. The Patriots achieved great success under Kraft's ownership. When he bought the team, it was considered an average team that had only six playoff appearances in 34 years. It also faced five consecutive losing seasons, but they changed it under his ownership and made it to the playoffs 21 times during Kraft's 27 years. The Patriots have won 19 AFC East titles until now, including 11 consecutive wins from 2009 to 2019. Other than Kraft's leadership skills, the team had an exceptional coach, Bill Belichick, and quarterback Tom Brady. The duo became one of the most successful in NFL history due to their constant wins over the years. After the Patriots, Kraft also bought another soccer team, the New England Revolution, which is one of the 10 original MLS clubs. His most recent investment in the world of sports came in 2017, when he bought the ownership in the Boston Uprising, which was one of the first seven teams participating in the eSports Overwatch League. Kraft was not just the owner of the team. His significance became prominent as he played an effective role in ending a 136-day lockout of players, which threatened to detract the 2011 season. He helped both the owners and the team players to get a common ground for negotiations that ultimately solved the issue. As these negotiations were going on, his wife Myra was suffering from cancer and died just five days before the lockout was terminated. Robert was greatly admired by the football community, especially due to his determination to the game despite his wife's struggles with severe disease. He is one of the most successful owners in professional sports history off the field as well. Kraft paid a total of $227 million for the franchise, the stadium, and the parking lots around the stadium. Today, the Patriot franchise is worth an estimated $3.8 billion. He played a great role in turning NFL into the country's most valuable league. Kraft's own wealth is estimated to be around $6.6 .6 billion, making him the 76th richest man in the United States. So this was the story of Robert Kraft and how his team, the Patriots, beat the odds and changed from the average team to one of the most successful teams in NFL history. Share your views about this inspiring story in the comments down below and stay tuned for more videos.